Paul Golding is the leader of Britain First, a British far-right political party. He tweeted a video about Manchester in 1901, trying to be sarcastic by saying, Manchester in 1901, check out the diversity, implying that England was better as a white nation, and exposing his hatred to immigration and multiculturalism. But the hilarious part is that the video backfired, and Muslims enjoyed it more than he expected. Let's watch the video and come back. <laughs> Did you catch why Muslims enjoyed the video? If you didn't, have another look. Pay attention to the woman with hijab and wearing modest clothing. This is the real English culture that they are blaming Muslims for. That's why I always tell you, even conservatives are just liberals with fake religiosity. He tried to make fun of us but got humiliated by his own post. Alhamdulillah. And remember, O oh Muhammad, when those who disbelieved plotted against you to restrain you or kill you or evict you, but they plan and Allah plans and Allah is the best of planners. This guy is a well-known racist, an anti-Muslim bigot who has been jailed multiple times for his attacks on Muslims. Many Muslims responded to his tweet making fun of him. Brother Xavier said, Paul, why are you showing women wearing net scarves? This is barbaric, backwards, Arab, Shakira law, Muslimic culture that we don't want in our country. I don't know what I just read, but it sounds funny. Brother Zishan from Smile to Jannah also said, Were the women oppressed because most seem to be covering their hair? Or were they secret Muslims? <laughs> it's only oppression when Muslim women wear modestly. The women in the video were never oppressed because they are white English women and not Muslims. Look at how happy they are. They think they are better than us. And because their women got naked because Christians lost the battle against feminism and liberalism. They are jealous that our women are stronger than all of them. And resisted and still hold Islamic values and take modesty seriously. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our sisters and mothers for their courage and determination to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not the creation. People like Paul Golding act like moral police and use Christianity to boost their following and act like they are on a crusade against Muslimic takeover. But in reality, they are the worst of the worst. He got exposed for violently attacking his former deputy and girlfriend Jada Franson in secret recording. You always find the people who waste their entire life attacking Islam and Muslims to be the most disgusting people behind closed doors. <laughs> Whatever, for whatever reason, we can't live together. So you... Why leave my house? No. What, why right from this morning? And you weren't, you weren't innocent. I didn't, oh. I didn't come near you. You, you tried to come out, you tried to... Driving someone mentally crazy is just as bad as physically... Really? Yeah, no, everyone drives you crazy, so you... That's your excuse. Only two girls. The majority of these groups use their hatred for us to make money and they manipulate other civilians and brainwash them to send them money either through donations or by buying merchandise thinking they are helping the cause but in reality they are just being used for money similar to what BLM did in America they use African American suffering to make money why do they need a 6 million dollar house? only God knows we Muslims should be proud of our religion we are the only community that resisted the ideological enslavement of the liberal agenda it's become more and more obvious to me and and more and more pertinent that islam is the last religion mm. on the planet mm. when i talk about islam because i'm new to it yeah I, I i'm a little bit careful right because i'm new to it i'm certainly not a scholar there's so much i need to learn i know i'm on a learning journey i'm not here to sit here and, and talk scripture I, I don't know those things yet i'm here to learn yeah but and we're here at your assistance. Anything thank you, bro. Thank you. Honestly. Thank you. Yeah. But um, it's just for me, it feels like the last religion on earth. I feel like there's no other religion. People say to me, why did you convert? And I said, I don't really think, feel it as a conversion. I, it's almost like I knew God was real and now I've become religious. And they say, well, you were religious before. I was like, religious before how? Christian? Mm. What does Christian mean? Mm. Like, who's not a Christian? You go to Christian nations and everyone says they're a Christian. Look how they live their lives. Go yeah. into the average church. Is anyone actually fearful of God? Anybody? Mm -hmm. No. The girls were out on Saturday night night drinking and then mm -hmm. they turn up to church because their parents made them mm -hmm. like there's there's no substance to the religion and also islam very closely reflects my personal beliefs i through my personal life i've yeah. learned that if you don't have standards and you're not a strong person who's prepared to defend his ideas you'll be crushed yes and we look at most religions in the world today which are not prepared to defend their ideas what's happened to them they're just getting crushed and yeah. now we have christianity as an idea which has basically said 
well, we can't set any firm rules because everyone will just quit. So instead, let's make it so easy to be a Christian that nobody has to put any effort in yeah. and then accept everybody no matter what. And hopefully we can keep the church doors open. <laughs> that's not, that's not yeah, God yeah. to me. You know, yeah, yeah. God to me is, is strong. God to me is something to be feared. Yeah. God to me is something, someone that people are afraid to mock. Yeah. God to me is someone that you have to go out of your way to prove something to. God to me has red lines. Yeah. Like God to me re represents the Islamic faith. The Christian God to me, I don't see God. I, yeah. I can't explain. I don't see anything there. So yeah. to me, it was it was the only logical choice wow. in the end. Alhamdulillah, man. Alhamdulillah for the blessing of Islam. You can watch this video about Brother Muhammad Hijab responding to Pearl Davis' attack on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.